So hi, everybody. Um, welcome for this new Jenkins infrastructure meeting. Um, we don't have a lot of topics to the agenda. So yeah, we'll just do a quick a recap of the main thing that happened over the last week. So the first one is I spent um, some time to to fix um, package of Jenkins audio machines. So basically what happened is one year ago when we upgraded from Ubuntu 14 to Ubuntu 18, we had to upgrade multiple packages. Um, and Mirror Brain, which is the tool that we use for our mirrors, was not packaged for Ubuntu 18. So Tyler made a specific package um, until we were missing some dependencies. And so um, the open source project is also maintaining a specific Ubuntu repository that for um, Mirror Brain. And so I just upgraded uh, to the latest version available on that on that repository. A uh, great PostgreSQL. I made some improvement on the database and Apache to increase the number of connections. So now everything seems to be stable and um, the response time of the update center and package of Jenkins that I use seems to be stable since last week, which is a really good news. Um, so it means that, I mean, it's not as more, it's not anymore as it, as urgent to work on that machine as it was last week. So I'm going to leave it uh, in that state for now. The other major thing that I did was uh, regarding LDAP the Jenkins.io. So we, we were using um, a certificate provided by Namecheap. That certificate expired last Thursday. And so I switched the certificate to Let's Encrypt. Um, the major change here is that the LDAP uh, will have to read, uh, reread the certificate every three months. Um, I'm not sure yet um, that the current configuration supports uh, how to reload. So we probably have to reload to restart the container every three months for now. I mean, this is the, the current, yeah. Just set a cron job that deletes the pod every two months. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking because I'm pretty sure that also no, um, the thing is that it's running. So the LDAP is running on a pod. Um, so I, I was more thinking to to configure a liveness probe like uh, if the certificate is um, expiring less than a month, just kill the container and restart a new one. Um, but yeah, that's that's the main thing. Uh, but at least for now, yeah, it means that we switch to um, to Let's Encrypt. I did I did a bunch of tests. The only places where um, LDAP, connect, LDAP client was broken was uh, on the account app, I think. But uh, accepted that um, everything seems to be working fine. So that's good. Um, any question so far? No. And so the the, 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 the last topic um, was, um, which is the last topic that I want to talk is regarding the automating Jenkins releases. So I had a few discussion with few people uh, and, um, and a bigger one with Daniel. And so basically we, we, we discussed about what we would need in order to, to release security releases from the, the new environment. And so basically the, 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 the main, the main requirements are being able to promote artifacts between Maven repositories um, because um, the security work implies that either the you the work with the security team or with contributors and so usually they maintain a specific branch and they have specific artifacts and so they want to be able to promote from a specific repository um to um the official one another uh, limitation um is that we need to be able to 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 merge the code but not between fork but between different git repository because uh, they are using a specific um private git repository for the security work and so we need we also have we need to have some kind of um git uh git promotion between the git repositories um and so yeah so the the, the two main things that you have to implement uh, are basically promotion um between a specific release to the security one the good thing is we have until june i think around june um to to finish that work so yeah it gives us some time to, to 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 plan that in advance. So I created a bunch of Jira ticket related to this. I can put them to the um, to the Google Notes. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty pretty all. Um, any question on this topic? No. Um, so yeah. So that that's that was pretty old. So the the the, the last uh, the last thing. Um, 
that also moved on the infrastructure and this is more related this more some work done by alex and mark so they also added the s390 uh, architecture and the ppc64 to ci the jenkins.io which means that we can also start working on those um infrastructure and build on those um we, we can also build on the arm 64 i've tested that with uh, at least a plug-in build so that, that's okay. working as well with the east uh, uh amazon that's perfect Right, and, and I'm I'm actually using it now. I think in the platform labeler, so Series three ninety S three ninety X PPC sixty four LE and ARM sixty four. Did, did the update to the build plugin fix the issue where it was not being assigned to the actual nodes? I've got to double check. Good question, Alex. I think it did, but I'll have to double check. Okay. Thank you. So, except that this, um, do you have anything that you want to bring to discuss now? Um, there was a couple of failures in the um, uh, incrementals. It'd be good to get access to the logs so that I can see um, if there's something that we can fix to make it more stable. Which logs? Uh, for the for the functions, I, I, oh, sorry, yeah. I can see the function. But I can see the function, but I can't see the logs. Um, actually, yeah, sure. Uh, this is something that I can give you access. And Olivier, I'm preparing. I my, one of my goals for this week is to submit the changes that I, the tests that I had written for pa automated release packaging checks as part of a, the standard build. But I can't see the definition of the build process. Are we building off the master branch or off the infra nine ten? branch when we do a release build for a weekly so right now we are using the the branch infra uh dash nine nine hundred something okay. like that. so we are not using the master branch the main reason to this is because kozuke still rely on the master branch um to release uh stable um so that's why so basically we we merge all the changes to the master branch once we are fully managing all releases um yeah Great. So, um, yeah. so I'll submit the pull request to that branch. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. That's all. Otherwise, um, so yeah, Tim, I will I will look for your permission. You should have access anyway. So uh, maybe I did something wrong. Um, I'll check after the meeting. And otherwise, yeah, if, if you don't have any um, thing that you want, I mean that that you want to discuss here, I, I propose to go back to RC and and close meeting here. Thanks for your time. Bye bye. Bye. See you. See you. Thanks.